Hello everyone. Again, this is Dr. Ranjit Singh with a new topic, John Milton. With reference to his classical epic, Paradise Lost. John Milton, as a poet, is known as the child of Ranisha and Reformation both. John Milton was born on 9th December 1608, Bread Street, Heapside, London, England. His father's name was John Milton and mother's name was Sarah Jeffrey. John Milton received his primary education from St. Paul's School, London and later on from the University of Cambridge, Christ College. John Milton married three times in his life, first in 1642 with Mary Powell, then in 1656 with Catherine Woodcock and last time in 1663 with Elizabeth Minchel. John Milton is also known as a belated Elizabethan poet. He has also written pamphlets and a book on the history of England. He also worked as a civil servant for the Commonwealth of England under Oliver Cromwell. The age in which John Milton was very active that age is from 1625 to 1660 and this period is also known as the age of John Milton. Now let's discuss the main points of John Milton's life year wise. John Milton's father was a scrivener by profession. Scrivener is a person who can read and write and makes legal documents for the people. On account of the fair complexion that John Milton had, his hair were auburn and the face was oval, eyes grey and the complexion was very fair. That is why John Milton was known as Lady of the Christ among his friends. In 1620, when John Milton was 12 years, he was enrolled to St. Paul's School in London. After five years, in 1625, John Milton was enrolled at Christ Church College at Cambridge University. In 1626, there happened something when John Milton was suspended from Christ Church College, he had a little argument with his tutor, William Chapel. As a result, John Milton returned to his family in London and began to write his first poetry. Later on, he went back to Cambridge University. This time, the tutor was changed and he was assigned Nathaniel Toby. On December 25, 1629, at the age of 21, John Milton composed the first ode, Ode on the Morning of Christ's Nativity. On Christmas morning at Cambridge, this ode was recited. His first published poem was on Shakespeare in 1630. This poem was published anonymously and it was included in the second folio edition of William Shakespeare. The writer's name, who was John Milton himself, was not there. John Milton took his BA degree in 1629 and MA degree in 1632 from Cambridge University. 
he then went to live with his parents on their country estate at Horton, where his father had retired a short time ago. John Milton wrote two masks, a kind of drama, Arcades and Comus. Both these masks were composed for novel patrons and performed in 1632 and 1634 respectively. Arcades was performed in 1632 and Comus was performed in 1634. In April 1637, John Milton's mother, Sarah Jeffrey Milton, she died and was buried in the town of Horton. In November 1637, John Milton wrote a very popular elegy, Lycidas, a pastoral elegy. The elegy was dedicated to his friend Edward King. In July 1639, John Milton composed the poem Epitaphium Demonis. It was an elegy for his best childhood friend Charles Diodati, who died during Milton's European tour. In 1642, at the age of 34, John Milton married a 17-year-old girl, Mary Powell. The match was not a good one. Mary soon returned to her family's house and never came back to Milton. In 1643, unhappy with the first marriage, John Milton wrote a pamphlet condemning, criticizing England's divorce laws. And he wrote four pamphlets on divorce. They are called divorce texts. In 1644, John Milton published the impassioned tract Aeropagetica in support of a freedom of press. In 1647, John Milton's father, he died. On January 30, 1649, King Charles I was publicly beheaded. Ushering in a Republican government led by Oliver Cromwell, the period from 1649 up to 1660 is also called the Commonwealth Era in England. John Milton supported the removal of the king. In 1649, the tenure of kings and magistrates was published in which John Milton defended the right of the people to execute a guilty sovereign like Charles I. In February 1652, after years of diminishing eyesight, this diminishing eyesight was likely caused by glaucoma and Milton started becoming blind but in this year, he became totally blind. On May 5, 1652, his wife Mary died three days after giving birth to the couple's fourth child, daughter Deborah. His young son John died soon after. On November 12, 1656, he married his second wife, Catherine Woodcock. His second wife, Catherine Woodcock, died four months after giving birth to the couple's only child. In 1658, in 1659, following the restoration of Charles II to the English throne, he was arrested and imprisoned for about two months. In 1663, over the objections of his daughters, John Milton married third time 
with Elizabeth Minchin. Milton's house that was there in Bright Street, London, it was burned down in the Great Fire of London. John Milton's the most popular book, Paradise Lost, was published in August 1667. He followed up Paradise Lost with its sequel, Paradise Regain, another epic that was published in 1671 along with his tragedy, Samson Agonistus. On November 8, 1674, John Milton died of gout and was buried in St. Giles Church. A memorial to John Milton was placed in the poet's corner of Westminster Abbey. John Milton used to consider Edmund Spencer, the author of Fairy Queen, his master in poetry. Now if we look at the major works of John Milton, we find that John Milton wrote both in poetry and prose. John Milton wrote poems, big poems like epic, drama and texts as well. Let's discuss about the poetic and dramatic works written by John Milton. In 1631, El Allegro. It is a pastoral poem. It means a happy man in Italian language. Then Il Penso. It is a reflective ode centering on melancholy as a stimulus for sober contemplation and inspired writing. Il pensero means ill and pensive man. Then there is Comus. Comus is a mask presented at Ludlow Castle in 1634. It was performed in the honor of chastity. It was first presented on Michael Mess 1634 before John Egerton, who was the first Earl of Bridgewater at Lord Lucasel in the celebration of the Earl's new post as Lord President of Wales. Then a very popular elegy, Lysidas. Lysidas was written in commemoration of the death of John Milton's friend Edward King. He was John Milton's friend at Cambridge. King Edward drowned when his ship sank in the Irish Sea off the coast of Wales in August 1637. Then Paradise Lost, Paradise Regained, Samson Agonistus is a closet drama that appeared with the publication of Milton's Paradise Regained in 1671. It shows Milton's desire to bring gravity and calm dignity on the Greek tragedies. The play was a big success on the point of objective correlative. Let's move to the prose works of John Milton. Some of them are very popular. Of Reformation, it was Milton's first independently produced work and was published in May 1641. Milton's argument focuses on both the role of church and government and of government in general, especially of the importance of republicanism. Then there is Aeropagetica that was written by John Milton for the freedom of fresh. 
Then these are some other important works of John Milton. He also wrote a book, History of Britain, that was also quite popular. John Milton also wrote 23 sonnets in all his career. Some of the very popular sonnets written by John Milton are here, like On His Blindness, On the Diseased Wife, On the Late Massacre at Piedmont, When the Assault Was Intended to the City, and On His Being Arrived to the Age of 23. Now let's move to the most popular work of John Milton, Paradise Lost. Paradise Lost is an epic poem composed in blank verse. It is divided into 12 books and is notable for its autobiographical passages. It was started in 1658, completed in 1665, and finally published in 1667. It was written in the last phase of John Milton's life. When the book was published first time in 1667, it had 10 books, with over 10,000 lines of verse. Second time, during its second publication in 1674, the book was arranged into 12 books. John Milton divided book 7 and book 10 and made it a book of 12 parts. Sutton is the hero of Paradise Lost book 1. Paradise Lost has been praised by Matthew Arnold for its grand style. The theme of this Paradise Lost has been taken from Bible and is the fall of men, the temptation of Adam and Eve by the fallen angel Satan and finally the expulsion of Adam and Eve from the Garden of Eden. Milton's purpose of writing this Paradise Lost is to justify the ways of God to men. The poem also follows an epic tradition that it begins in Mediaris. It means in the middle of the story. The background of the story is narrated in due course. These are some very important facts to be remembered for the competitive exams. William Blake, he said about Paradise Lost that while writing Paradise Lost, John Milton was of the devil's party without knowing it. The reason is that in Paradise Lost book 1, John Milton has magnified the character of Sutton in such a way that it seems Milton was really on certain side. Then Matthew Arnold, he really glorified the style of John Milton used in Paradise Lost by saying that Milton has used grand style like the style of Brazil and Dante in Paradise Lost. John Dryden remarked about John Milton that this man cuts us all out and the ancients too. It means John Milton has been appreciated as a unique poet by John Dryden that there exists none else like John Milton before him and after him. Now let's deal with the first few lines of Paradise Lost. In many universities, the first few lines of Paradise Lost Book 1 have been prescribed as a poem in the course. John Milton 
begins paradise lost with the lions of men's first disobedience and the fruit of the forbidden tree whose mortal taste now in the very beginning john milton intends to invoke the goddess so that she can come and bless john milton to compose such a mammoth task he says i intend to sing of men's first act of disobedience to god's command that man did by tasting the fruit of the tree of knowledge which was forbidden by god and as a result of which death and all the miseries of mankind were brought into this world and the heavenly state of innocence happiness and bliss which men enjoyed in heaven was lost now all these pleasures were lost until jesus christ the son of god referred as one greater man he will atone for the man's sins by his death and again regain for the human beings this blissful seat this lost happiness sing heavenly muse he requests the heavenly muse to inspire o oh, heavenly muse for it was she only who inspired the moses the great prophet of the israelites on mount oreb or sinai so that he was able to explain to his followers god's chosen people how god created heaven and earth out of chaos or formless void and if she is more attracted to the zion hill than sinai because this place is very near to god's temple or the stream of siola which flows beside god's temple at jerusalem john milton says i invoke you from there o heavenly muse come help me in my ambitious poetic effort of writing an epic poem which with an ambitious flight of imagination will rise above the mount helicon and seek to explore the fears of heaven and hell and earth while treating of a theme which has never been chosen never been written before either in prose or in poetry john milton says o spirit i invoke you who prefers to dwell in the heart of a pure and righteous man rather than in temple so come and guide me o divine spirit in dealing with my subject because you know everything about the topic i have chosen since you were present from the very beginning and set over the formless space of chaos and filled it with life in the same manner as a dove with its wings expanded sits on its eggs to hatch them john milton requests the muse to throw light on what is unknown to him and elevate and sustain whatever is low in him so that he may rise to the sublimity of this great subject and vindicate the unfailing love and wisdom with which god governs the world and also he can prove that god is just in his dealings with men this is all about today's lecture in the le next lecture we will deal with 